Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a standard account in Windows 10. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if there are any um, built-in accounts that are enabled. So we just want to go hit the start button here and type in computer management, or you can just type in computer man. Bring that up. So we want to go to local users and groups and click on users. So if you see something with a downward arrow here, that means the account's disabled, and that's what we want to see. In previous versions of Windows, at least um, with Windows 7, I don't have much experience with um, 8, um, the um, accounts were, were enabled by default. So it looks like um, Microsoft's been taking um, security more seriously recently, so these uh, accounts are already disabled. And for an added... Um, bit of security you can right click on it and set a password and you can set a password for that account but um, like I said, you can just do that if you're extra paranoid so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new account so if we go here well first of all let me show you so I've got this copy of key pass here and you hit run so what I want to happen is um, I want to run as a standard account, so when I get this prompt, I'll be asked for the password for the admin account. So right now, since I'm running as an admin, um, I do get this UAC prompt, which, which is nice, but I want to actually protect that with a, um, a password. So we're going to click No for now. All right, so we're going to go to Start, and we're going to click on this little gear here, the Settings. And we want to go down to Accounts. So down here in Accounts, um, this is where you'd go to, like, set your picture and everything. Um, you can see that I'm an administrator on this account, so it says administrator right here. Now, depending on how you set up your copy of Windows 10, you might have a, a different um, account type. Mine happens to be a local account because I didn't use um, the uh, micro, I, don't, I, I didn't sign up with my Microsoft account. So we want to go down to family and other people. And down here you want to click on add someone else to this PC. So you're going you're gonna to be asked a couple of questions. This assumes that this person has a Microsoft account, but we don't actually want that. We just want to create an account that will serve as our local admin. So the first thing you want to do at this first screen is you want to click, um, I don't have this person sign in information. And then um, this is where you can create the person's account. But what we actually want to do is go down here and um, click add a user without a Microsoft account. All right, so this is where you can create your admin account. Now, this will reside only on this computer, but starting out, it'll be a standard account, and I'll show you how to elevate it. So first of all, come up with a name for this. Um, I usually go with sudo, which that is a, um, a Linux command, which actually um, elevates your account to uh, um, an administrator, but that's not important for now. And then, of course, we'll set a password for it. And then password hint, I always put NA or none. Click next. Okay. And then we have this local account here. So we can go ahead and close this. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look at users. So type in user, and you should have this best match user accounts, which is in the control panel. Okay. So this is another way of looking at the users on the computer. So you'll see here I am. It says I'm a local account, uh, a local account. I'm an administrator and I'm password protected. We want to go. Oh, so um, every time you see this little shield, that means it requires administrative rights to access. So since we're already an admin, we don't have to worry about this. So we'll click on manage another account. And so you see we have my account and the account we just created. So if you click on that. Um, what we want to do is we want to change account type. So you'll see um, we have standard account and an admin. So we want to go ahead and promote this to admin and then change account type. And you can confirm that he's set to administrator. So we want to go to manage another account. And then we want to go back to my account and go ahead and change it from admin to standard and then click that. And so now it'll say local account. Now these changes won't take effect until after we log off and log back in. So go ahead and go down to start. Click on your picture and do sign out.
Okay. And then click. And then there's my account. You'll also see that there's our admin account. You shouldn't have to sign into this account at all. Um, it just exists strictly for elevating your rights. So I'm going to click on my name and I'm going to sign in. Okay. So now when I go to open, I'm going to get the same security warning prompt. Hit run. Now I'm going to be prompted for the administrator password. So if I put that in, and there you go. After this is done installing, um, so what's happening right now in the background is um, I'm, I'm logged in as a standard user. When I go to launch this, um, because the operating system knows I'm not allowed to install anything, it'll ask me for the credentials for an account that can install software. And then that application will run as that administrator user. And then once that's finished, um, it'll return to normal. So that's... Uh, that's basically how it works. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching, and be safe out there.